Hey, YouTube, this is Southern Purple One. I want to bring you an update of the bank. Uh, that's the Silicon Valley Bank. Um, just give you some background. What happened in the last 48 hours or 36? Basically, uh, yesterday, they, the Treasury Department was monitoring Silicon Valley, um, and they said very carefully um, and that they were on top of it because they could see definitely there were some strains in that bank. Um, it was also described by uh, a president of Ava Labs. He said, this is a classic bank run. When a bank run starts, you don't want to be the last guy there. Um, the chief executive officer held a conference Thursday, yesterday, and he advised the clients of the bank to stay calm um, and they're gonna work this out. Uh, as you see, they did not work it out. We progressed a little bit further. Um, today, trading was halted for their stock, um, and that's after ye yesterday, late um, after our trading, it fell 65%. I think it fell 40% on Thursday. So they halted trading. Um, so that was halted. Then there was also a hearing, and Janet Yellen, the Treasury Secretary, said that her department is monitoring her words a few banks amid these issues at um, the Silicon Valley Bank. So she was referring to more than one bank that they're monitoring. There are recent developments that concerns a few banks that I'm monitoring very carefully and when bank experience financial losses, it is and should be a matter of concern. I quote what she said. But today, they did close the bank. Uh, just, just a little bit ago, it was closed by the California Department of Financial Protection and Innovation, um, which appointed the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, FDIC, as the receiver. So to protect insurance deposits, the FDIC created the Deposit Insurance Nation, National Bank of Santa Clara. Um, at the time of closing, the FDIC as receiver immediately transferred to uh, the Deposit Insurance National Bank of Santa Clara all insured deposits of Silicon Valley Bank. All insured depositors will have full access to their insured deposits, and the key word is insured deposits, no later than Monday morning, March 13, 2023. Uh, Silicon Valley has 17 branches in California and Massachusetts, um, and they're saying all branches should reopen Monday, March 13. Um, and the new bank will maintain the same business hours. It says, as of December 31st, 2022, Silicon Valley Bank has approximately $209 billion in total assets and about $175 billion in total deposits. At the time of closing, the amount of deposits in excess of the insured limits was undetermined. And basically, they say uh, you are insured up to $250,000. Um, and if you are... A Oh, if you have a loan with this company, that you need to continue making your payment as usual to Silicon Valley Bank. Uh, so it doesn't keep you away from paying a mortgage or anything else like that. You need to pay it. So basically, the bank had trouble. They tried to find someone to buy the bank. No one would buy the bank. Uh, this morning, the stocks continue to go down, and the government had to step in. Um, which probably did to help the bank run because people were trying to take their money out and there was going to be no money. So this is what's happening. So am I here to scare you, to get you jump up and down? No, I'm here to inform you. Uh, I think this is the larger, largest bank since like 2020 um, that has, has gone down. I want you just to be informed. I want you to see that if... Um, FDIC doesn't have a lot of money. So if we have a total collapsing of the bank system, I think it's like one point something percent. Less than 2% of people will get their money out. That's all FDIC has. Now, if you say, Dave, they're just going to print money and they'll give it out. If they did, went that route and printed money, it would collapse even further. Your money would be worth nothing. So use this as, an, as a time to look at your finances and say, okay, 
Can I take some money out of the bank and safely store it at my house? Or can I take money out and maybe invest in gold or silver? Or maybe I should take that money out and pay my car off, take that money out and pay my house off. Um, you look at your own situation. I can't tell you what to do, um, but hopefully this does not spread to other banks. But when Treasury Secretary Yellen says they're monitoring a few banks, how many is a few banks? Two banks, three banks, four banks, I don't know. So this bank has collapsed. I early reported that it, it hadn't yet, but today it has. Um, so take this information, apply it to yourself. Are you prepared right now if the banking system totally collapsed? And I'm not saying it's going to do that, but if it did, have a plan. Have a plan written down, have a plan in your head, start implementing your plan. Thanks for watching.